From Columbia, South Carolina, WIS News 10 starts with developing news. First at six, developing news as a guilty man is on the run in Richland County. A jury convicted a Columbia father this week of abusing and burning his three-year-old daughter. Now several law enforcement agencies, including the U.S. Marshal Service, are working to track him down after he failed to show up to court for his own trial. Nathan Ginter, who's 43 years old, was found guilty yesterday of four counts of unlawful conduct towards a child for chronic physical abuse of his daughter in 2022. Nick Neville is live on this story for us. And Nick, you talked to the lead prosecutor on this case. Where do things stand now? Right, so at this point, it is all hands on deck to try to find him. The lead prosecutor saying that he was really given the proper notice for this trial, but it became clear last week that he wasn't going to show up. And the state law allows for a trial to move forward in a defendant's absence. The search is on to find Nathan Ginter, a no-show defendant in Richland County who was convicted this week of what police described as, quote, maliciously abusing his three-year-old daughter in 2022. If anybody were to see him or have any information to know where he is, please let the Columbia Police Department know. Um, this is a case that was very important to this family, and we want to make sure that that little girl gets justice. Evidence presented at trial detailed the prolonged patterns of abuse over a three-month period, starting out as a form of punishment, but then escalating into torture. What began with Ginter bruising his daughter with a bamboo stick quickly evolved into water torture. Prosecutors say he also used a stun gun on her, leaving her with multiple second-degree burns. His sister testified that he would do that over and over again, all because she would cry or ask him to repeat himself. Much of this abuse was videotaped. Jurors were shown deleted videos extracted from Ginter's phone where he is narrating the abuse. Lead prosecutor Anna Browder, a mother of three herself, says it's difficult to fathom that someone could do this to their own child. It's very hard to look at a parent who could look at their child and think that this is the proper thing to do and then to enjoy abusing their child the way he did, which was portrayed in his text messages. Browder says the little girl is doing much better and is safe in the hands of other family members. It was horrific what happened to her, but children are resilient and she has been with good family who's been very supportive of her and have helped her become just a child again. Also got a chance to speak with Ginter's bonding company. He made his $1 million bond from the Alvin S. Glenn Detention Center, and he would routinely check in with them about every month, but they haven't heard from him either. They too trying to figure out exactly where he is. Police say that he should be considered armed and dangerous. Live in the studio, Nick Neville, WIS News 10. All right, Nick, thank you. Now the child's mother, Tiffany Britton, is currently serving out a seven year prison sentence herself after she pleaded guilty to several charges related to similar abuse of the same three year old. If you have any information on Ginter's whereabouts, you're asked to contact Crime Stoppers at 1 888 Crime SC.